Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today we're looking at the Intel Pentium G3258 Haswell Refresh CPU. This is the first time me reviewing an Intel Pentium processor. But I have a special reason. This year Intel is celebrating their 20th anniversary of their Pentium brand. Intel therefore decided to do something special for us. They released a Pentium CPU with a fully unlocked multiplier. Say hello to overclocking. But before we take a look at the performance, here are the specifications. The Intel Pentium G3258 is a dual-core Haswell refresh CPU that goes into the LJ1150 socket just like all the other Haswell and even Devil's Canyon processors. Two cores and two threads are featured here, no hyper-threading of course. The base clock is at 3.2 GHz, there is no turbo clock. However, this CPU comes with an iGPU, the fairly weak Intel HD graphics. The TDP is very low, with 53 watts only. It's the 22 nanometer process, 512 kilobytes of level 2 cache and 3 megabytes of level 3 cache is offered. Dual channel DDR3-1333 memory is supported natively. Now let's bring on the benchmarks. Alright, the Intel Pentium G3258 is a very interesting processor. For the price it offers good stock performance, but of course you can't really do a lot with it. It simply can't really compete with an Core i3 CPU, but that's logical, because these i3s cost more and are hyper-threaded. However, once you overclock that little beast, you get some really, really good results. When overclocked, it easily outperforms the i3-4150 in rendering as well as in video encoding. I'm speaking of a 4.7 GHz overclock, by the way, which can be reached fairly easily with a decent CPU cooler. No need to go for extreme air or water coolers. Also, when having this Pentium CPU overclocked, gaming-wise you get pretty much the same performance as with the i3-4150. However, not every game reflects that. The power consumption increases though, but still it's under the one of AMD's FX6300. In the end I have to say get this G3258 CPU if you want to learn and experiment with overclocking and if you don't have that much money to spend. Keep in mind though, you will need a motherboard with the Z97 chipset on it in order to overclock. I'd say it's a great processor with great pricing, and therefore I'd definitely recommend the Intel Pentium G3258 Haswell Refresh CPU. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.